Welcome to the next video in our Mind Sense and Soul series in partnership with McGuigan Zero. Today it is all about scent. Our sense of smell used to play a vital part in our evolution and survival and although we use it a lot less for that these days, its importance is still really taken for granted. Smell is responsible for 80% of what we perceive as flavour and it's still important for warning us against dangers such as smoke or a gas leak or rotten food. It's also still important for bonding and finding partners thanks to the subconscious inhalation of pheromones. But what's really important about smell is that it's the only sense we have that is linked directly to parts of the brain associated with memory and emotion. And this means that scent is a fantastic natural tool that we can use to improve our psychological well-being. Scent can be used to wake us up, to calm us down, make us feel safe and just about everything in between. Inhaling them in the form of essential oils or even just simply from a scented candle can help us produce serotonin and dopamine and this helps regulate our moods and generally makes us feel happier and calmer. It can be as simple as a scented candle or a decent diffuser. At the moment, I'm doing this every morning because I'm getting up at the crack of dawn, it's still dark, it's cold, and I'm lighting a candle by my desk and then going downstairs to get my coffee and my breakfast. Then when I come upstairs, I approach my desk and I am hit by this lovely wall of rose and orange blossom. And it instantly makes me think, oh, this is my space, instead of, oh God, I've got to work now. And it makes such a difference to my morning. You should try it, honestly, I highly recommend it. heard about Proust and his Madeleine cakes, well that was all about the power of aroma on memory and emotion. And we all know that that's pretty mega, right? So why don't we use this to advantage? You know you can train your brain to associate certain smells with things, so why not pick a scent that means calm or happiness to you and just keep smelling it at the right times and eventually you'll find that just one waft of that will instantly take you back to a place that you want to be, or at least it will significantly help you to do that. Did you know that smelling practice can also grow your brain and stave off dementia? Numerous studies have shown this and they've also done studies with sommeliers and found that they have parts of their brains that are associated with smell and memory, that they are much thicker thanks to all their smelling practice and the consideration of all those complex aromas. So finally, there's some good news about the job that I do. Certain herbs and flowers have known benefits, as we know from aromatherapy, so sadly it's not just a case of spritzing yourself with Chanel. So let's have a look at some of the main ones. Full lists are in all the links at the end, of course. So we have, for reduced stressed anxiety and depression, try bergamot, lemon balm, rose and sweet orange. For sleep, try lavender, rose is quite good too. For positivity, try cedarwood and sage. For focus and calm, try sandalwood. For mental stimulation and energy, try peppermint. For headaches and nausea, try lang lang and ginger. Lang lang! And for sexy time, you might want to try cinnamon or jasmine. As usual, there are links to articles, books and podcasts that I found to be really interesting on this subject when you go to the threedrinkers.com forward slash balance. In the meantime, I would really like to know what scents work for you. You can ping me on social media or get in touch through the website. Please share this with anyone that you think might appreciate it. Thanks very much for watching and keep well.